the Securities and Exchange Commission of the United States is going to hold a meeting on the 18th of July that is going to be of the utmost importance to discuss the critical issues that are causing the Ripple Binance cryptocurrency market to suffer. And the meeting is going to take place to discuss the reasons why the market is suffering. Participation in this hearing is going to be obligatory for everyone. It is anticipated that the primary topics of discussion that will take place during the meeting will be the establishment of injunctions, the procedures for administrative proceedings, the decision of litigation claims, and the implementation of enforcement measures. These are all anticipated to be the primary topics of discussion, the recent decision in the Binance case, and the critical finding that is still pending in the RIP both contributed to the meeting success in attracting interest in the field of cryptocurrencies. In particular, the meeting has garnered interest in the field of cryptocurrencies. Additionally, the development of the meeting has been influenced by both of these occurrences. The verdict that was handed down not too long ago is a particularly pertinent factor to consider in this regard. Uh, it is expected that not only will the Secretary of the Commission and the Secretary of the Commission be present throughout the entirety of the meeting, but there will also be recording secretaries present. The most important topics that are discussed at this conference are the establishment of Binance, the provision of legal assistance to Coinbase and Ripple, and the actions taken by the Securities and Exchange Commission in relation to cryptocurrencies. All of these topics are discussed in relation to cryptocurrencies. A decision from the court regarding the situation is currently being awaited by the Bitcoin industry, which is currently waiting for the situation to be resolved. Even though Judge Analysis Torres has issued a definitive order regarding injunctions and fines, it is not anticipated that the attorneys and executives at Ripple will be able to reach a settlement with the Securities and Exchange Commission. Um, this is the case despite the fact that the order was issued, the anniversary of Ripple's summary decision, which has the potential to bring about a significant turning point in the ongoing dispute between Ripple and SEC, is currently being considered by Ripple. SEC is able to take advantage of this potential turning point. Regarding the matter at hand, Ripple is currently considering the possibility of being involved. Depending on the outcome, there is a possibility that shockwaves will travel throughout the cryptocurrency industry. This is because the price of XRP has increased by 18 over the course of this week. This is the reason for this. Uh, settlement with the Securities and Exchange Commission is extremely unlikely to take place, according to the assessments of legal professionals who have arrived at this conclusion. This is because... Ripple has a track record of being successful in the courts during the course of its existence. Judge Torres came to the conclusion that XRP does not qualify as a security on July 13, 2023, through his decision. Following the implementation of this decision, there's no longer any possibility that a compromise could be reached between the parties involved when it comes to the investigation that is currently being carried out into the case. The possibility is the primary focus of attention that is being paid to it at this very moment. It is possible that the Securities and Exchange Commission will file a claim against Ripple in the event that the company sells XRP to particular institutions without first registering for the transaction. This is a possibility because the SEC has the authority to file such a claim. Ripple has made a request for a payment of $10 million as an additional measure in response to the decision made by the SAC to reduce the previous demand for a penalty from $2 billion to $10 million. This decision was made in response to the fact that Ripple has submitted a repayment request. As a response to the decision, Ripple has made the payment available to the customer because the company is of the opinion that the transactions were completely within the bounds of the law. Both the chief executive officer of Ripple Brad Garlinghouse, and the chief legal officer, Stuart Alderity, have issued statements in which they have provided an overview of their perspectives and opinions regarding the matter from their respective positions. Both statements were issued by Ripple. The actions taken by the SEC were referred to as an unlawful assault on the cryptocurrency industry by Garlinghouse, who made this statement within the context of the speech. Furthermore, he was ecstatic about the fact that the day was a wonderful day for Ripple and the cryptocurrency industry as a whole. He was overjoyed by this accomplishment. Throughout the entirety of his remarks, Alderity emphasized that the summary decision is an event that ought to be taken into consideration. Additionally, he reaffirmed that XRP is not a security and brought attention to the excessive jurisdiction that the CC pop. Both of these points were made in addition to the previous one. Due to the fact that the anniversary of the summary judgment is getting closer, Gary Gensler strategies give the impression that the federal agency's efforts to ensnare Ripple in drawn out legal battles are unsuccessful. This is uh, because the anniversary of the summary judgment is uh, drawing near. Specifically, this is due to the fact that 
the anniversary of the summary judgment is drawing nearer. RIS, an independent legal analyst, has stated that they are optimistic that a decision will be reached prior to the conclusion of the proceedings. This is something that they have expressed. Despite the fact that RIS has predicted that there is only a 5% chance that Judge Torres will issue a ruling on the same day, they have found themselves in this situation regardless. That being said, this is in spite of the fact that they have found themselves in this predicament. According to his point of view, the information regarding a decision that is going to be made will be disclosed either late in the morning or early in the afternoon, or it will be made public if a decision is going to be made in the near future. Uh, According to his point of view, this is something that will in fact take place. The current performance of XRP has experienced a significant surge eventually regaining the level of 50 cents before continuing its upward trend. Uh, The cryptocurrency has seen a rise of more than 177% over the course of this week, which is the reason for this development. This week, there was an increase that was substantially higher than the increase that occurred earlier by 177%. It is possible that the significant increase in trading activity that has been observed in recent times is directly responsible for the prompt action taken by investors in order to buy the decline. This is something that has been observed um, in a statement that was issued not too long ago. He voiced his concern regarding the executive efforts that are being made by the Securities and Exchange Commission to restrict the cryptocurrency industry. According to the statement, he is concerned about the efforts. Ripple is led by Garlinghouse, who serves as the chief executive officer. The fact that these attempts have been inaccurate in the past and are now also incorrect is something that he has brought to our attention. He has demonstrated that these attempts are inaccurate, This individual has provided evidence that these attempts are not accurate. On the 13th of July, 23, the Supreme Court of the United States made it abundantly clear that XRP does not fulfill the requirements to be classified as a security. This decision was made public. A number of cryptocurrency exchanges, uh, the most prominent of which was CoinBase, came to the realization that the finding was incorrect almost immediately after the verdict was handed down. CoinCoinBase was the most prominent of these exchanges, and the decision made by Kraken and Bitstamp to make XRP available for trading on their respective platforms in the United States directly resulted in a significant increase in the value of XRP. This was a direct consequence of the decision. Following the completion of an investigation, the court arrived at the conclusion that the issue was caused by Ripple's sales of XRP on exchanges and by executives, in addition to a wide variety of other rippling XRP releases to developers. This conclusion was reached after the court conducted an investigation. This can be traced back to the beginning of the problem that has arisen. At the same time, the court arrived at the conclusion that the issue was brought about by the confluence of a number of different factors that were brought together. After much deliberation, it was ultimately decided that neither labor organizations nor charitable organizations could be classified as securities. Uh, A choice was made in this regard. In response to... Ripple's argument that other types of transactions that were at issue in the case should be given fair notice. The court did not have a decision that went against the financial technology company. 